so oh man it was easily one of the worst days of my life okay basically i was at, at this cool little section in la perouse it's a place in sydney it's got like a mad bridge water waves you can get underneath the bridge shoot on rocks and all that get a mad sunset snap which is what i was doing this is before I started even motor fields. I was just shooting. I was put my first expensive camera. It was a 5D Mark III. You guys might have seen it on my shelf. It's on my shelf always behind me, especially at the old place. Anyways, uh, I was shooting under there. Had the tripod. I was doing all these long exposures, you know, getting all the nice waves and everything. Neck minute, the bloody thing just detaches. 5D Mark III, if you don't know what that is, it's like a $3,000 camera now. A bit of an older version. And I had this 16-35 to F4 L lens. I just bought that brand new for like 1200 bucks. So there's like easily almost five grand worth of camera just falling off the tripod. Hits a rock and just slides into a rock pool of salt water, guys. Just straight in. Gluck. And I was just looking at it like, what? <laughs> grab him, get, like I just see the screen on under the water, like under salt water. Grab the camera, quickly just pull the battery out. Because that's the worst thing with water, obviously, is that it just shorts everything out. And that's how everything dies. The next day, the camera is already corroded. I literally had to pull everything apart, man. I'm just looking at the sensor, salt all, all over it. Had to put it in fresh water, which was just devastating. <gasps> My fridge thing which is just devastating as is and then literally dipping it in water yourself like purposely trying to wash all the salt out of it uh, anyways next day wake up check it out it's already all corroded on the inside traction off <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. dust storm Anyway, so yeah, I see that it's all corroded. I take my camera to Canon, book in the whole thing, like, come on guys, you gotta, you gotta revive it. They take a look at it, they do the whole thing, they pull everything apart. This is like the lens and the camera. Oh, look at this cool little place. Let's look, talk the ride by. What is this? Two birds. Nice. Looks cozy. Two birds. And like, yeah, they come back to me just like, nah. Camera's fucked. Lens is fucked. I wasn't insured. I wasn't insured. I was just like, I literally just sold my very first camera to buy this crazy good camera. A month later, that's how long I had it for, same as the lens, gone. My next best camera was my iPhone. I had no money. I, it was a quiet time during with gigs and everything, with music and all that. I was just scraping in for rent. I was a depressed, depressed mess. Anyway, things pick up. Oh, where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, let's go down here. Uh-huh, okay. I was a depressed mess. Ow! And I sell heaps of my music gear, all my pedals, all this stuff that I just wasn't using. I sell all that. Sell, sell, sell. I, I gig a lot, I work a lot, I save my ass off. And then I buy my 5D Mark IV. In the meantime, I'm using my 5D Mark III, my shitty one, as a doorstop with the, with the L lens on it. After a year, a full on year, I was just like, you know what? Come on, mate. What are you doing? Just indicate or something. Tell me what you're doing. Come on. Come on, mate. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, this is that. Oh, this is Grazeland. So these are all like street food vendors. Oh, this is sick. Oh my gosh. That looks so, so sick. I want to go. I want to play. It's like. <laughs> a theme park for food. Come on, mate, you got it, you got it. Bloody hell. Ho oh, ho, we're out of there. What is this? I don't know where I am. Uh, I'm gonna turn right. I feel like that was the way we're going. Where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, so after a year as a doorstop. I decide, alright, I'm going to stick this lens back on just for shits and giggles, man. And I even pulled the lens apart myself. I pulled it apart and I put it all back together. I put the 5D Mark III apart. I didn't put that back together. <laughs> I had no idea where anything was going. I just wanted to pull it apart and see how it looked, you know. There, I put the lens on and before, usually, when I would put it on, it would say no new communication. Just like nothing would show up. So, I put it on and there's connection. It still said 00 for the F, like the aperture. But... It was, it was working, I could see through it. But the autofocus wasn't working. So I flicked it to manual, and I used the focus ring, and I could take photos with it. 
I was like, what the heck? And then the F numbers came out. So like F4 popped out. And then I got the, the focus ring, did these ones a fair bit, and the thing freed up and started working for me. And I use it every now and then. On like, especially when I'm riding, I'll chuck that in instead of my hella expensive one. Because I ended up buying another one because they're, you know, 16 to 35. I love white. White looks cool. And it came back alive. So its name's Lazarus. Lazarus. <laughs> but it's alive. That's my story. Holy crap. Isn't that sick? I was, uh, I was so happy. I was so happy. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go through up in here and see what this is all about. Where are we? What is this? Health club, hey? Uh, oh, look how good Melbourne looks. What? This is so nice, man. Come out here, read a bloody book. That's cool. The warmies. Oh, the gate's open. Does that mean I can just... <laughs> Straight up in the ocean. Might be a bit too high because the ground's a little bit. Oh, oh fuck. How's that? It's pretty. Man, that is right on the edge. It's all good. It's okay. It's all right. There's nothing worse, eh? Hey, you just see you go. Mm. Oh, the pole. Rob. You know, those shots where the bike's out of focus, but the city's in focus. That's what I'm doing right now. Just stick around to the end as well. I'll show you what these photos all look like once edited. Glad I just came down here. See? Just turn off the grid, man, and uh, you you find gold. Nice one. Look at that, just fishing. I'm not really into fishing, but I can see it just being one of the most relaxing things ever. Until you catch it. <laughs> ah, oh god. <laughs> I thought we could... Ah, I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw it in. Oh. That was cool, hey? Scrambler guys. Couldn't do that with a Ducati Pelagale. Oh, the sun is getting golden. What do you guys reckon so far? Drop me a line in the comments. Is this a vibe? Are you vibing on the whole moto vlogging thing? You're getting to know me a little bit better. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> no, I love it. This is cool. This is actually sick. I don't feel so lonely doing this now. Usually I just do this all by myself and I'm just like, ah, f this. <laughs> just, I don't know. Not really. Not at all. Oh man, it keeps going. Melbourne. It's such an incredible looking city. Hang on, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be so small on the GoPro, I didn't realize that, but I just need to look at this for a second. Because that is insanely nice. I might just take a photo of the city. Boom. Oh. So yeah, I've got a whole, I've got a whole bunch of brands jumping on board, hey, which is sick. The cool thing about doing little locations, uh, scouting stuff, is that you can test out new gear, test out new combos. Like everyone's out and about here, like Sydney, oh, you just don't get this, you get a little bit, but um, it's actually rated, <laughs> it's been rated the most boring place or something, most boring city in the world or, or something, or something, or something. Melbourne's been rated the most livable city in the world, pre-COVID, because it was the most locked down city in the world as well. Here you go, mate. This is such a nice vibe, my mum would love it here. Good on your mum. So this is Williamstown. I know this is Williamstown. I came here with with a guy. His name's Jesse. Jesse, if you're watching, g'day, mate. He's making some awesome jeans. He's one of the one of the dudes jumping on board. He makes some awesome, awesome, awesome pants. Full on, like I'm wearing Subies right now. They look like this, but maybe a little bit better. Look at this. This is like a busy street in Sydney, <laughs> and this is outskirts of Melbourne, and it's like buzzing. All the eateries, I can smell all the food cooking, people cruising around, wheelchairs, everything. It's mad. Oh look, yes, yeah, the bike's just on the footpath, man. It's so sick. I love it. I love it. Oh yeah, cars, guys. Cars, classic cars, out the ass. They're everywhere. They jam everywhere. I'm gonna get down there. I think, I feel like it's gonna get, it's getting a bit too dark for you, so I'm gonna change my ND field over as well. I'll do that right now. Oh, damn, we lost a bit of time there. Holy crap. So, I switched the ND filter out. Couldn't find it because I was in a new spot in my bag. Rode for two meters and one of the GoPro batteries died. I want to keep, I just want to keep moving forward because we're going to lose this light and I really want to get to this sick spot. Whoa, 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 Nelly. Oh gosh. Here's the adrenaline. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Feeling alive. 
Oh gosh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <clears throat> Anywho, how, how did they not see me? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're motorcyclists, this is what we risk. Um, it happens all the time actually. So, you know, whatever. Sun looks cool. <gasps> what is this? Whose is this? That looks sick. 1200 gram, there's the GDS. How good is this place, man? Melbourne rocks. Look at that. F yeah. F yeah. Oh, this thing looks mad, man. Blacked out, jacked up, shotgun pipes, wrapped. Yeah, it looks like a bit of fun here, man. If you're watching this, hit me up because we're going to ride together. Oh, the tank is even wrapped. They just wrapped it. Mad. Chain looks a little bit loose, bro. You gotta tighten the chain up. I think we're gonna have to wrap up here, you know? I think, because we're losing the light and the GoPro is gonna just suck. So, I reckon I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Thanks for sticking around if you stuck around this far. Like, if you guys like this, let me know, because I'm having fun. There's these, mad. Well, the boys going out for a Friday night ride. You. Yeah, this is mad. This is mad. This is mad. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and following my journey. It's mad. Melbourne's sick. I'm frothing to be here. I want to show you guys more. Stick around for the photos. See ya!